Hello, it's Michael Watts here, and in this video we're going to compare acoustic guitars from the USA and the UK. What are their defining characteristics and which do you prefer? This is a question that I get asked very regularly. What is the difference between guitars from the USA and the UK? I think the most helpful way to approach this is with a direct comparison. But which instrument to choose? Is there one guitar that maybe defines the personality of instruments from that country? Throughout all my videos I work very hard to avoid sweeping generalizations. But every once in a while, it's fun to paint with primary colours, so here we go. After racking my brains for several days, I came to the inescapable conclusion that there could only be one prime candidate to represent the USA. It is, of course, the Martin D28. <laughs> The list of historic recordings that haven't featured this legendary dreadnought is probably considerably shorter than the list of those that have. You'll have seen a D28 in the hands of, well, everybody. And for this comparison I've chosen a D28 Authentic from the Martin Custom Shop. This is just beautiful. I think this is the first one I've uh, had the chance to spend any quality time with. Adirondack top, straight grain, Indian roasted on the back and sides, always a pleasure to see, and a really lovely, chunky mahogany neck there. This is gonna be fun. Choosing a guitar to represent the UK, on the other hand, was not as simple a process. As you can probably tell from my accent, I'm from the UK. Unlike the USA, we don't really have any acoustic guitar brands that can trace their lineage all the way back to the 1830s. And traditionally, the UK guitar building scene has been based around soul luthiers or very small workshops. As such, there were lots of names that I could have chosen, but only one that kept coming back to me. Loudon. In this case, it's a beautiful Loudon O22 model. We're looking at a red cedar top over some beautifully figured mahogany on the back and sides, uh, a mahogany neck with the uh, rosewood inserts that's so typical of Loudon, very lightweight and with a matte finish as well. You, of course, may not agree with either of these choices, and if you think you can suggest a more iconic instrument to represent either country, please do let me know in the comments below. Quick point, but I think it's one worth making. Uh, as I said, this D28 is from the Martin Custom Shop. This Loudon O22, well, the whole of the Loudon company is essentially a custom shop, so I think they're well matched. This is not a Rosewood versus Mahogany video, nor is it a Spruce versus Cedar uh, video, although it could be all those things but it's not. It's not intended to be anyway. In order to do both these beautiful instruments justice, I'm going to play four musical examples on each one, taking it in turn. We'll kick off in standard tuning with some gentle singer-songwriter fingerstyle, then some open chord strumming. My pick of choice for this sort of thing is uh, 0.8 mil Master 8, uh, which are made in Japan. After that, we're going to drop into Dadgad tuning for more fingerstyle. And finally, we'll investigate Dadgad with a capo at the fourth fret. My capo of choice is, and always will be, the amazing Elite model by Elliot Capos. As I have done for over 10 years, I'm going to be using a matched pair of Microtech Gefell M300 small capsule condenser microphones. There will be no reverb, EQ, or anything else added to the sound that you're hearing. That's probably enough chatting. Let's go.
don't know about you, but I'm finding this really interesting. thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you found this video interesting, entertaining or indeed informative, please do subscribe to support my channel. Uh, drop me a like and let me know your thoughts about the differences between guitars from the USA and the UK. I'll see you next time. Until then, stay tuned. Mm -hmm.